doing an update on Bitcoin uh, is Cinco de Mayo. It is party day for us in the United States. Um, and I will be busy the rest of the day. But since it's the morning and I want to go over and give you guys an idea of where we are and what we're doing. Uh, this is Bitcoin. And I want you to pay attention to this chart right here, which is a four hour chart. And you can see we are now just above the sell zone that I, I've had here, which is bullish. Um, longer term, breaking this level is bullish, but not really. Um, what you have here is a rising, um, broadening, I'm sorry, uh, wedge type of formation. And it's been developed and the geometry is kind of overdeveloped. Now, there's a reason why that uh, we're not holding as this and breaking down further. And that's generally the tether uh, debacle. I'm looking at the volumes and so forth, and it's very clear that people are trying to exit tether by buying Bitcoin, which makes perfect sense because their troubles are uh, very bad. And, but the problem is that supply and demand doesn't really care about that. So what's gonna happen at some point is there all that money that goes into Bitcoin that escapes from Tether as much as it is and so forth uh, is going to become supply. Uh, you can't really overcome the supply and demand dynamic. So when things revert and you break back down, uh, it could get pretty ugly um, because it's artificial in nature, kind of like what Trump is doing to the stock market in the U.S., and nobody's paying attention to it, and, but they will in the future when it ex is exacerbated the decline in the stock and you see a, a bigger decline. He stepped in and actually reversed the trend in the market and tried to keep everything up. And he could probably do that for maybe another year um, or so. But it, it, at some point, the, when you artificially manipulate or inflate something, uh, you have that that empty void where the real price is and the real levels are and once the musical chairs stop then you get the you know re reverse uh, uh, the reverse happening the inversion and generally collapses uh, occur with stuff like that but that's good because traders love volatility and I love you know crazy markets and you know artificial pumps and all that <laughs> Um, but right now, we've sold into this, and we'll keep selling. And if it goes up to the 6,000 range, fantastic. I'll just average in more. But we're showing signs of it breaking down. Um, we look for self-similar. If you remember in the past, I, I shared with you guys self-similarity in, in different patterns. Well, you kind of have that with this. If you see this, one drops back down. So one, two three, four, and then you get your five right up here. And what happens there, then it breaks off, breaks back down, it's ready to, to collapse, and then that tether money comes in and then pushes it up again. So you've got basically several highs here, that higher highs, you got four of them now. Um, and it's definitely artificial. Now what we want to look at is this right here. And this is our key point. And let's expand that. And we're going to start to see that we're getting high, drops back, high, drops back, then another high right here. It's doing the same type of thing, just in a smaller, more condensed um, manner because it's losing volume. And if you associate the volume and you go further out, you can see the drop off in the volume naturally occurring. And you can see that right there. And boom, boom, boom. More volume here. Much more volume there overall. And then it's this strangeness here. You can see where it's leveled down. It's small. And then becomes symmetrically even. This is a warning sign right here. This is artificial type of behavior. Um, where it doesn't make sense. You have large amounts that are collective and non-symmetrical, and then you have symmetrical amounts that are imbalanced. 
and these are warning signs. Um, and that would lead to a pending reversal. Of course, I'm not into prediction. I'm not going to say when. Uh, we can just see the warning signs appearing and whatnot. We have the structures. We have the higher highs. And we're actually above that sell zone. Now, that's kind of bullish long term. But again, you're, you're going to need the pullback to occur. And uh, I, I don't know the extent of which the tether, um, uh, you know, uh, exodus is affecting the buying pressure on Bitcoin. That's kind of an un, uh, unknown quantity that I really can't calculate. It would take a ton of research and I don't have the time and so forth. So I just have to kind of wing it. Um, but that would be good information to have. It's too bad I don't have a research team. <laughs> that would be nice to have. But um, where I could actually work the numbers out to it in the umpteenth degree. But that would be, you know, I'd have to have a research department like in a Wall Street firm. And I don't, unfortunately, have that. Um, but I can see what's going on. I can see the overall flow and the dynamics of this. We're losing steam as we approach these levels up here and, and hit that sell zone. And it's just a matter of time before we get the reverse and uh, get numbers all the way back to this zone, which now kind of becomes green. Or let's make it yellow because it's not a certainty. Uh, there is a high probability that you get with this that will not hold. Basically, this will become uh, a very weak, here, let's make it a Let's make it a, hmm, let's make it a slight greenish color. Not exactly yellow, but not exactly green either. How about that? It gives it a little bit of support, but not a heck of a lot. And I would be, again, looking more for numbers all the way back down here now. Um, and uh, who knows what the catalyst will be, but uh, some interesting things are occurring. Um, the, as I've shown in the past, it is developing, and uh, we've got this broadening wedge type of formation appearing, and uh, there are plenty of signs here. Now it's just a matter of time. It could meander in this area and go a little bit higher and cycle through, and then whoosh, you get a big down move out of nowhere, and then once it breaks this level here in the 5,000 area, then it's going to be exacerbated and then you're going to probably get a very quick move to the low um, 4,000 range. So we'll be looking for that in the future. Other than that, I'm off to enjoy Cinco de Mayo and I will see you guys during the week. Have a fantastic weekend.